This is Blue Hawker, which uh, is a 65 foot by 12 foot wide beam. Uh, it offers a fantastic amount of space. Uh, it's been fitted out by the owners on a shell by ABC Boats from Lincolnshire. Um, they fitted out boats before, so it's no amateur enterprise. In fact, the quality of the work is stunning. Um, they've lived on it for the past five years, cruising up and down the Southern Grand Union. And in case you wonder what a blue hawker is, there's your answer. It's a variety of dragonfly. Walking down to the stern, this is your, your natural entrance into the boat. In fact, there is no forward entrance. There, there is a, a way out through a ceiling hatch, a large ceiling hatch in the bedroom at the front. But this is your principal point of access. And so coming inside under the pram hood cover, it's, it's winter and quite chilly, so it's not down. You have wheel steering here. And this is a really nice seating area as well. You can see you've got a, an occasional table, upholstered seating there. Great place for sitting out in uh, better weather, for dining, chatting, a few friends around. I mean, that's the joy of a big boat like this. You, you've just got all this space to play with. Dropping down into the galley, which is the first thing that you come into as you descend those steps. Solid oak worktops, lots and lots of storage space, all, all cleverly thought out as well. You've got a sort of carousel kind of unit in here. Magic corners they call these cupboards, don't they? Just to maximise space and at this end you've got uh, carousel units that just swing out. Extractor for the cooker, and this is all gas built in there. And then on the far side from the galley, you've got the uh, dining table, and then cupboards at the back here. This houses all the electrics. There's a three kilowatt inverter, which is also a 120 amp four stage charger unit built in. There's your 12 volt circuit breakers, all very neatly installed. Coming past the dining table, which is freestanding by the way, you can remove it if you don't want it. You've got a saloon which has two sofas, a two-seater and a three-seater. You can see the side hatches opposite over there. And there's a further set down the saloon on the opposite side. You can see them there. You've got a television uh, below that. There's a cupboard space that houses the digi box for the satellite dish and so forth. And then you head on down the corridor and you've got a, the first of two bedrooms. This is the guest bedroom. It's a slightly narrower bed. It's a four foot six wide bed. Once again, plenty of storage in here including a full height wardrobe unit here. And then back out and down the corridor. And in this corridor, you've got two areas that open right out. The first one is used uh, as an office. The uh, Caroline, uh, who's one half of the couple on this boat, is a glass painter and she uses that as her workshop. You could make it an office, whatever you want to do with it. The next area is a, a utility area, and this houses the washing machine, as you can see there. And, well, everything else you might expect, a utility room, cleaning materials and so forth. Opposite these uh, useful spaces, you have the bathroom. 
And that's a, an electric flush um, cassette WC. It's got a ceramic bowl. It's a decent quality one. You've got a countertop sink unit there. And next to it, the shower. And opposite this, you have a second small room which also has an emergency porta potty loo in it should you ever need it there is central heating throughout this boat by the way um, and also there's a, a diesel stove in the saloon uh, the diesel stove has a back boiler which provides all the heat for the central heating um, Finally, you're in the main bedroom here. This is a king-size double. There's a hatch which you can get out of if you wish to. Once again, lots of cupboards, built-in wardrobes. Uh, an example of Caroline's rather wonderful painted glass. And then out to the front. Now built onto the front, so this is a, a bulkhead beyond the bedroom if you like, is a huge storage shed. I guess you might as well call it, as you can see. And then you've got a hatchway in the bow. And that also is used, you can see it contains a, a generator in there. And that's Blue Hawker. Uh, there's a photo gallery, a downloadable brochure and a layout plan available on the website as well.